If you are looking to get a new VR headset, then you came to the right place. Because we are going to be talking about the best VR headsets that you can get right now, as well as some must-know things before you buy one. So let's dive right into it. Firstly, we can put all these VR headsets into three main categories. That being standalone, console and PC VR. So let's start off with these standalone VR headsets. Now to be able to fall into this group, a headset would need to have all its computing power built into it directly. That means that you don't need any external sources like laptops or a buff gaming PC to run it. And the best example of this is none other than the MetaQuest 3. Now this is also directly one of the most popular VR headsets that are out there. And of course, it is clear to see why. Because it rocks an amazing spec sheet that thanks to its high resolution and high 120Hz refresh rate is all boosted by their new powerful XR2 Generation 2 chip. And on top of that, it also comes with the new color pass-through cameras that can be used for mixed reality gaming. But it also has lots of features that get added over time thanks to the huge support from Meta. This can go from full upper body tracking without the use of external sensors to a big improvement in clarity and performance. And thanks to this big support from Meta over the years, it also gives the Quest 3 one of the biggest VR game libraries of all time, including loads of exclusives that aren't available anywhere else, while also still giving you the possibility to wirelessly connect it to a PC if you want to play some Steam VR games, making it a true hybrid VR headset. But of course, the biggest reason why it became the standard for a lot of users is its competitive low price tag, where depending on the region and time, they normally start selling them below $500, making it one of the best options for people who are looking to buy their first VR headset while also not having to completely break the bank. But an alternative and competitor to the Quest 3 within the standalone category is also known as the Pico 4. Now on paper, it actually has a lot of similar specs despite being released nearly a year earlier. From the color pass-through, PC VR capabilities and even the resolution being nearly identical, it actually manages to have some big improvements too. For example, it comes with an elite strap directly built into it to increase your comfort during play sessions, as well as rocking a much bigger battery, letting you play up to one hour longer on a single charge. And even more surprising is that it also comes at a lower price point that starts about $400. However, the main reason why the Quest 3 is still much more popular and recommended for most users is all thanks to its software support. Because even though the Pico 4 might be great on paper, it sadly is still missing a lot of features and great games that you come to expect from a VR headset. So in most cases, it is probably not worth it. But we do of course also have to mention the more expensive headsets within this category. And there is no better example than the Apple Vision Pro. This is the big newcomer to VR that changes the game completely. But while most VR headsets focus on gaming and VR experiences, the Apple Vision Pro is betting big on productivity and enhancing your daily life, with the ultimate goal of eventually replacing your laptop, TV and even your phone. That means it is mostly making use of mixed reality while having a virtual reality option for full immersion when needed. And the specs on it are absolutely insane. From the highest resolutions available on the market that are nearly double the pixels compared to the Quest 3, to the super accurate hand, face and eye tracking, while also having the entire software directly integrated with their other Apple devices. And if that was not enough, it is all being powered by the insane PC level M2 and new R1 chip. But keep in mind that this is still the first VR headset from Apple, which means it has a lot of bugs that need to be fixed and doesn't have support yet for a lot of VR games. However, with a huge company like Apple backing it up, it will definitely become one of the biggest players inside VR. But we have to talk about the elephant in the room because it comes in at a pretty hefty price tag of $3,500, making it also directly one of the most expensive VR headsets that you can get. So if you have a lot of cash laying around and you want to use your headset mostly for productivity within the Apple ecosystem, then and only then the Apple Vision Pro might be a good option for you. But we should of course also not forget to mention the Quest Pro. This one has some similar features from the Apple Vision like eye tracking and face tracking but also includes the new Pro controllers, whereas the Vision Pro is hand tracking only. But it does have a much lower screen quality and the lack of a powerful chipset. Besides, most of the extra 
software features have not actually been implemented into applications or games at all. And with a price tag of $1000, it probably isn't worth it for a lot of people. Unless you want to use it specifically for the enhancements that come with the new controllers. But let's be honest, you can actually get those controllers separately and connect them to your Quest 3 instead. Leaving almost no reasons to buy this headset unless you find it for a super good deal. And we should also give some honorable mentions to the Quest 2. Because this was Meta's most sold VR headset. And for a lot of users, also their first VR headset ever. But with its successor, the Quest 2 is now not available anymore on official stores. And while you might still find it around for a good price, it is probably worth getting the upgrade of the Quest 3 instead. Or you could wait for the Quest 3S. But before we get to the next insane VR headsets, let's have a quick word from the company that made this video possible. Because none other than Cat VR, who are also known to create VR treadmills that look like they come straight out of Ready Player One, are taking VR once again to the absolute next level. Because while we're normally limited by the space and boundary systems inside our virtual reality experiences, it is Cat VR that have been creating VR treadmills that let you run, crouch and jump without having to worry about any limitations. And since their most recent version, known as the C2 Core, is compatible with nearly every headset, it is often also considered as the dream upgrade for any VR setup. And they even go so far that for those hardcore fans, they have high-end models which include things like haptic feedback as well as a vehicle up, making it feel even more realistic like riding on a horse inside VR. And to top it off, you can also use the code FRELITY to get a $130 discount on your purchase. So for those who are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that said, let's go to the next category known as console VR with the only great example being the PlayStation VR 2. Even though Xbox has dipped their toes in VR, trying to work together with Meta on one, as well as Nintendo with their Labo VR kit, but none other than Sony have tried to push VR on the PlayStation 5. And the headset itself actually has some really unique features, like foveated rendering thanks to the eye tracking that is built in, as well as next level haptic feedback in the controllers and even the headset, so that you can truly feel what happens inside VR. And because it uses the power of the PlayStation 5, you can finally play some real high quality games on it, with some being completely exclusive to PlayStation. However, Sony has mentioned that their PSVR 2 sales have been much lower than they originally expected, which caused a lot of developers to stop their production of VR games entirely, leading to a library that is much smaller and not as big as you might come to expect, which is quite sad since the hardware could definitely pull off some amazing titles. But luckily, Sony took a step forward by making a PC VR adapter that lets you play Steam games like Half-Life Alex and many others as well, with the only downside to it that you will need to be tested to either your PC or PlayStation 5 directly with no wireless options at the moment. But with the headset coming in at around $550 and lots of big discounts to be found everywhere, it makes it a great choice for people who already own a PlayStation 5 or for those who are looking for great Steam VR games in a still decent price range, which gets us directly into the third category known as PC VR headsets. Now these all require a buff gaming PC to be able to run your games. And while the previously mentioned question Quest 3 and Pico 4 are technically capable of doing this wirelessly. It is these advanced PC VR headsets that can push the quality of what is possible in virtual reality even further, with the most known example being the Valve Index. And this is the old school that is still running today while being released nearly 5 years ago, which is directly also its biggest problem, because the hardware that used to be cutting edge has been falling behind compared to the newcomers that are out there. Even so, the Valve Index has always had a hardcore fanbase that keeps supporting it every single day. But its biggest downside is that even though it has some great knuckle controllers and one of the most accurate tracking thanks to the base stations, it is still priced at around $1000 after all these years, making it very hard to still stand behind it. And in case you really want a headset made by Valve, it might be worth it to wait for that elusive Index too. Now there are also many other VR headset brands with 
in the PC VR category, like Vive and Pimax to name a few. But the next unique one is also the smallest one known as the Big Screen Beyond. This tiny new headset became pretty popular thanks to solving a problem that a lot of people have been experiencing when inside virtual reality. And this is the heavy feeling of the front facing weight. And it also has some beautiful OLED displays and a unique feature of a personalized face pad that makes this by far the most comfortable headset available. And it starts at the price of $1,000. But while that might all sound great, there are also some big things that it lacks. Firstly, it doesn't have any built-in audio, so you will have to use your own or buy the additional audio head strap. And secondly, it also doesn't come with controllers included, making the overall price a lot higher than the initial cost. With the quick side note that there are also no mixed reality functions or hand tracking since they don't include a camera on the outside of the headset, making this only worth it if you really care about comfort and don't want to play anything besides PC VR games. But that gets us to the final conclusion. There are so many great VR headsets out there that it can be difficult to choose the correct one for you. And depending on your situation, one of them might be a better fit. But overall, the Meta Quest 3 is probably the best bang for your buck if you want a wireless all-in-one headset with the focus on gaming. While the PlayStation VR 2 might be a great pick for those who want to have a decently priced headset that can be used for console gaming on your PlayStation 5 as well as PC VR. And for those people who want to use their headset mainly for product activity and who don't have a problem by pulling out some big money, then you of course have the option of the Apple Vision Pro. But that's not all. Because if you want to see the Quest 3 in a side-by-side -side comparison to some other VR headsets, then click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. And of course, stay awesome.